welcome back to Healthy with Nicole. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about something you really need to know if you're interested in gut health, which is endotoxins. Some of you may have already heard of what endotoxins are and why you should be concerned about them. Basically, all of us in our gut, we have endotoxins or part of the cells that actually are normal bacteria in our gut. But problems can happen when we get too much of them and we get a breeding ground going in the gut. Or if we have gut damage or leaky gut where those toxins can move into the bloodstream, then we have a real problem. So um, what I wanted to talk about is what causes these and how can we help make it better? Well, two things, we gotta eliminate the things that actually breed the bacteria. And the second thing is to reheal the gut so that those things aren't allowed to pass through the gut lining and create all the problems. So I'm gonna pick here on, pick on the, the things that are really problematic in a lot of diets, and that would be grains and starches. So, you know, things like hamburger buns, pretty common, people eat that all the time. Pasta, I know is a staple for a lot of people. Um, and there are some pastas that are okay and better, but for the most part, um, any of these refined foods and even wheat bread, you know, we may think of that as a healthier choice than white. Um, when it comes to your gut, it doesn't really matter. All grains and starches are difficult to digest, grains especially, and I'm even gonna mention legumes here today because all of those things make it very difficult to digest. Our systems just don't do well with it. And especially if you are someone that has an inflammatory bowel condition, no, no on these things. It's gonna make it so much worse. The reason is you already have that leaky gut condition, so you're breeding the endotoxins with these foods, and now even more are going to pass through your gut lining, which they shouldn't, but then go into your bloodstream and cause a whole bunch more problems. So that's where you're gonna see your energy levels dive, you're gonna see insomnia, mood disorders, anxiety and depression, even things like um, Alzheimer's is related to endotoxins. And so it's just not something we talk about a lot. So is it important what we eat? Absolutely, it's not about just counting calories and this is a problem I think that's overlooked with macros. If we just look at numbers, we're overlooking things like gut irritants. Um, so the best thing to do is to heal the gut. And secondly, stop putting in things that are difficult to digest. So be wary of any kind of grain, refined grains, corn, um, brown rice has a lot of fiber in it, refined um, you know, other things like breads, gluten. Some grains are better. Sometimes you can use like amaranth or quinoa is a little bit better, but most people are still going to struggle with grains in general. Um, the best thing to do, and this is my experience and with my clients, is to take everything out. Just eliminate all of those grains and difficult to digest foods, including plant foods that are hard to digest or have a lot of cellulose. And that will at least get those problematic foods out of the diet for long enough that hopefully you can heal your gut and then maybe start to reintroduce occasionally, you know, a hamburger on a bun shouldn't be a major problem. Um, but when your gut is very sensitive and damaged, all kinds of foods are going to be problematic. Um, so endotoxins are normal in the gut. It's just we don't want them to grow out of control or make their way into our bloodstream. Um, and when they do, they can do things like ulcerative colitis is directly linked. Um, there's, you know, uh, respiratory conditions, autoimmune, and a whole bunch more. So you can read more about this um, by joining my newsletter and you'll get that article that talks about all the disease and the research articles linked. So you can go for yourself and see where I'm getting this information and um, how they came up with this and the research that supports this idea of getting endotoxins under control to heal your overall body. So if you need more ideas on foods and what choices are best for a sensitive gut or someone with inflammatory bowel disease, check out my Instagram at Healthy with Nicole or go to my website and sign up for my newsletter at healthywithnicole.com and I'll send you weekly information on all of these things that can help you to heal your gut.